Hello, DeFi Dad. Hello, Caesar. What's up? I'm a little bit stressed out. Whoa, what's wrong? I heard this DeFi place is a great place, but there are too many websites, and they all look so different. I know just what you need. Really? You need to meet my friend Zapper. Whoa. Hello and welcome to Caesar Snack Sandwich. Today we're on Ethereum taking a look at Zapper Finance. Now Zapper Finance is a aggregator of other protocols. It's a place where you come to connect to other protocols. There's no Zapper coin. There's no Zapper products. Zapper just connects you to other products and other coins. So if you if you're in DeFi, I really suggest you get to know this website very well because it's very, very useful for yield farming and doing a whole bunch of things in DeFi. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go through these things all at once, one by one, all from the top downwards. Okay, so the first thing we come across here is this wallet type thing. So when we click this, this little tab opens up and here we have different wallets. Okay, this is my actual MetaMask wallet. So this is the one that I have connected to Zapper on this computer. Now, when you first come to Zapper, it's gonna ask you to connect this wallet. It's going to ask you to connect your MetaMask or anything like that. I can't remember where the button is, somewhere over here maybe, or maybe even here. Now, I, I could disconnect it, but I just don't feel like doing it. Now, there's two wallets down here that I'm watching. Now, these wallets I can watch even if I don't have my MetaMask turned on, or even if I don't have MetaMask on this computer, I can just watch these wallets just simply by putting them in here and it will watch them, okay? So I've got these two wallets here. Now, there's one more thing here I wanna talk about. It's called bundling, and this is what I'm gonna do. Now, these two wallets, they're public wallets. They're somebody else's wallets. I don't know whose wallets they are. They are just two wallets I, I'm watching, and you know, Zapper probably built them for people to look at, and so they can see all the features because they tend to have all the features displayed and used. So the first thing you can do is you can bundle them up together. Now, close this. And now once they're bundled up together, I go back here and I click bundled wallet. And let's see what happens. As you can see, the total assets changed. I'm not sure if you saw before, but before it was around $600. And the list of tokens and everything has increased quite a bit. So what it's basically doing is it's watching these two wallets at one time and putting it all together. So if you have a whole bunch of wallets, different coins and different wallets and stuff, you can bundle them up and you can just see like a, a display of everything together. Now, one of the common misconceptions of Zapper is that they take your tokens and hold them for you. And this is not true. Basically, all Zapper is doing for the most part is looking at the blockchain. It's reading it for you and displaying it in a nice place. So organizing it, it's way easier to look at this than it is to look at this, okay? This is much harder to read and this is much more pretty, okay? So here are your assets, here are your debts, here's your net worth. So this minus this equals that. Let's go down through the list here. And here's a little switch view. You can switch to this view or this view. I prefer this one, so I never switch over there. So the first thing you have here is a wallet. These are all the tokens you have in your wallet, just tokens in the wallet. Balance the price of the token and the value of the token. So this times this equals that, right? Going down, so these are deposits. These are tokens that you have placed into protocols that are like locked in the protocol for some reason, maybe producing yield. You can see some of them have APYs and some of them don't. Now, usually they all do have APYs, but the APY is not shown quite clearly, or it's not easily accessible by Zapper, so they don't show it. But there is a, probably an APY on all of these things. Okay, so they're deposited in protocols trying to gain some yield somehow. Down here we have liquidity pools. Now these are things that you've deposited. You've deposited both these tokens into maybe this one's Uniswap, this one's Bancor, this one's Balancer. So these are different markets where you've deposited tokens and it shows your balance of tokens so you can kind of main, you can watch for impermanent loss and the total value of them and so forth. I'm not exactly sure what investments is in comparison to deposits. So these are just some other, they seem to be like DYDX is just another 
lending like type platform. So I, I, I'm not sure what these are. I'm not sure why they're here and why they're not here. Okay. And downwards we have yield farming. So these are places where you are yielding. These are the tokens you are yielding. So if you look here, claimable dodo, and we come up here and we say locked dodo. So these are the tokens you have. You had 300, maybe you had 300 dodo tokens and you locked them in dodo. And now they're accumulating some more dodo tokens here. And it's showing you that, oh, you have like 97 dodo tokens that at some time you can claim them from dodo and they're worth about $16 right now. Okay. And the last one is debt. This is a, these are tokens that you have borrowed from certain protocols and you owe back some of these tokens. So I owe a mana, this, this wallet owes a mana of this value back to the a mana protocol. Okay. So that pretty much shows the dashboard. It's just a quick look at everything you have all displayed nicely and cleanly for you to see. Now here's where the magic happens inside invest. Let's go in there and take a look. So when we click into invest, the first thing we see up at the top is our current investments and it allows us to interact with them. Now you'll notice that this list here of deposits is much larger than this list of current investments. Now, why is that? It's because Zapper, it's much easier for Zapper to just see the tokens you have and display them than to actually allow you to interact with those protocols. So these are the protocols that you have currently interacted with. So you own the tokens, you own some Uniswap liquidity pairs, you've supplied these tokens to Uniswap and Zapper knows you've done this. And now it's showing you that you can interact with it. You could withdraw your tokens you could add more tokens to it or you could rebalance your tokens and that's kind of maybe rebalance is kind of just a way of moving your tokens from this investment opportunity into another investment opportunity within Uniswap. So it's like trying to save some gas like oh I want to change like from WBTC to some other token. So you could probably use rebalance right and say oh I, I don't want this pool anymore. I want to use this pool instead. And it's going to try to save you a little bit of gas on doing that. Okay. Instead of pulling everything out, converting it and then putting everything back in, converting everything and putting it all back in. So it'll save you a little bit of gas. Okay. So that's rebalance, withdraw, simple, pull your tokens out. Now, when you withdraw, the key thing here is you can decide what you want to withdraw to. There's several tokens. You can withdraw to ETH, DAI, USDC, a whole bunch, or you can withdraw to the tokens that are applicable to this, you know, this liquidity pool is WBTC and WETH and WBTC, WETH. So I just want my base tokens back. I don't want to convert anything. Okay. And it'll show you what you receive right now. Again, this is not a real wallet, so it doesn't allow me to actually go through with this. And you know, the gas is pretty high right now, so I don't want to do any kind of actual withdrawing anyways. So stake. Staking is a little different. That's where you stick tokens into a protocol and they just gain yield because they're locked in there. They're staked in there. So I could unstake them if I wanted here. Now this one here is a, another staked. You see it's staked. So there's a stake button, unstake, but there's also claim rewards. Because I've staked in here, there are some rewards occurring and I can click this and I can claim them. I can decide how many I want to claim, press confirm and claim the tokens. Okay. Now be in mind, you got to keep in track of gas. Gas is going to be expensive. So you got to make sure that this this amount of claimable tokens is higher than the amount of tokens that, you know, the value of this claimable rewards is more than the gas you're going to pay. That's something you have to do. Okay. Staking opportunities. So as you see here, I have some tokens that I could stake. I could add to these, to this pool. Is it the same one? No, it's a different pool, but anyhow, I could stake these tokens into this pool and start gaining some more dough. So I could do that here. Click that and tell how much of this balance or LP I want to stake in here and press confirm and go. So that's pretty much what it's, these are things I already can do because of what I'm already have in my wallet. So this is the interesting part. Here's where you can search for investment things. Now there's not, not a lot of way to filter these. There's quite a few things, three or 39 pages, but you can, you know, you can click on these things and say, Oh, what's most liquidity? What's most volumes? What's the most fees? So let's go to the highest fees. So right now this 
pair usdc eth is the most traded pair on uniswap that's producing the most fees possible now fees generally equal to more income for this now there's the possibility of losing money because of impermanent loss but that's a topic for another video so you can you know click through these and try to decide which one you want to invest in or you can go do some research elsewhere and then come here now why wouldn't you just do it there I'll show you in a second the other thing is you can search so let's say I really like yearn which is true I love yearn and I can go here and I can see all the yearn products and yearn is a pretty difficult thing to get into because you need to convert a lot of tokens you need to get some LPs you need to bring the LP tokens to yearn and stake them so this is where the magic of zapper happens let's say I wanted to get into this one compound curve vault now I had made a video on that you can watch this video here it's a pretty complicated thing and if you wanted to get into it you could just come here and do it so you click add liquidity choose the token that you want to use so if you already have the compound curve because you went to curve and you've got the compound token then you could use that however if you don't you can just go oh, I have some die and I would like to put you know 1000 die into this compound thing and you will get this token back okay and it's worth about 945 the reason why it's not equal that's a complicated mathematical problem right now and I don't want to get into it but if you don't understand how vault keys work you can watch this video right here and I'll explain to you why you know sometimes why you know if you put 1000 here you get 900 or 950 or 970 here on some of the vaults not this vault particular because there are other things inside here then die okay so you could then click this and it's gonna you know you, you could just turn the die into the vault in one step now this is like I said this is a complicated system to get into this vault you need to go to curve thing if you want to use curve you want to deposit in curve you need the exact tokens you need these tokens here and these tokens are compound tokens so you would have to go to compound first then go to curve then go to yearn but you could do it all here with the click of basically one button okay so that's what makes zapper so magical um the one thing that zapper is lacking is they don't have everything but they have a lot okay now to talk about that if you don't see your asset you can click on this and you will go to this website here this is the zapper um I don't know request page I guess so there are a few things here that you can click on at the top token protocol requests or oops click here feature requests so if you have some idea about zapper how to make it better you go to feature request if you want them to support some token you go to token request and you can so currently it's on token request so let's take a look somebody wants the Yeti token somebody wants idle finance to be produced uh, the PIPT you can see I voted for this already because I hold PIPT tokens and I would like them to support it so I can come here and watch this is me it's gonna ask you to log in it's gonna ask you to sign up and log in just using you know your email address and you can come here and participate in voting for tokens to get added to uh, the dashboard and to the to the system now they might add first the token to the dashboard because it's simpler and then later they will try to add it to the invest you know page because this requires a lot of actual programming where they're gonna perform functions for you so they actually have to make a smart contract to do this all right so the next thing over 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 we have exchange now exchange is pretty simple it aggregates a several um, different exchanges so let's say I wanted to change ETH into let's go with Arco and let's go with max ETH so as you can see it's using Uniswap now it doesn't show you all the different steps of the Uniswap but it does show you Uniswap I've asked them and they are said they're working on making it show you all the steps that's going to take in to get from this token into this token now from ETH it, most pairs in Uniswap are ETH pairs but if I were to turn this into say Adele and go max it's still using Uniswap but it, Adele is going to have to get turned into ETH first and then ETH goes to Alcro. So there's a couple steps in there. And again, you have to approve Adele before you can spend Adele to buy Acro. Okay. Now I've tried to find a token that will use a different protocol than Uniswap, but I haven't been able to find one. So sometimes you will see down here that it doesn't say Uniswap and maybe it says SushiSwap or Balancer or one of the other tokens. 
I, 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 I'm not going to spend a long, long, long time looking for a token that uses another exchange route, but just so you know that it's not only using Uniswap. It's going to look at other protocols as well and choose the best one for you. Okay. Now, next, there's two more, two more tabs to touch. The next one is Explore. What's in here? So when you first click Explore here, it shows you the different tokens that are currently connected to your wallet. So they have some sort of interaction with your wallet. So let's go to Balancer. So if I click Balancer, I can see all the Balancer type things that I have connected to my wallet. If I click on Rary, then I can see the Rary things I have connected to my wallet. So it's basically a dashboard that is allowed to be filtered by different tokens. Okay, so that's pretty much all Explore does. And the last thing here is Transactions. Now when I click on Transactions, you don't see anything here because this is that fake wallet or whatever, but let's click over to my wallet. As you can see, there's quite a few in transactions here, and it's basically showing every transaction that's happened on my wallet. So it's again, it's reading the blockchain and displaying the information here. It's reading Etherscan. I can click here and go to Etherscan and see this transaction. Okay. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't show gas that was spent here or any kind of thing. It just simply shows you the transactions so you could find, but you can go to Etherscan and easily find the gas that was spent on this transaction and so forth. So these are incoming transactions and there's an outgoing transaction here. So again, this is not only transactions that you performed in Zapper. This is transactions that this wallet has performed up to date. Okay. So that pretty much covers that. Last thing, there's a little thing here called download CFV. So you could click that and get all of this into a spreadsheet type thing. I don't really worry about this kind of stuff because I'm lucky enough I don't have to do cryptocurrency taxes. And uh, you know, you can change your base currency if you want. And you can change the slippage and the, the standard gas. So if you want to always use cheaper gas, you can click here. Now this is always can probably even go cheaper. So I would probably still check the gas on gas now and CC 66 is the slowest you could possibly get away with 97. But in here, it's at 93. So you could probably get away with 70 if you're not in a rush, or maybe 80. Okay, and then you can change the theme white to black. Now white hurts my eyes black looks good to me. So that pretty much covers it. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask questions in the comments below, or you can go to the discord. They're quite helpful there. They will help you a lot. There's some other things down here. You can learn more about Zapper by clicking on them, the docs, the facts, the context support, and that pretty much covers it. That's Zapper in a whole. I hope this has been helpful and thank you so much for watching and goodbye. Hello, thank you so much for watching. And um, if you'd like to support the channel, there are a few ways you can help me out a lot. Number one is I have a Gitcoin grant. This is a pretty unique way to help out. Basically the way this, this system works is if you supply me with any kind of donation, then the protocol itself will also match your donation with like an increasing amount, the more and the more the people donate to me. So for example, if you were to give me one die, the protocol will give me four die, which is great, you know, so your one die can go a long way. So please feel free to come here and check this out. You know, link to this will be in the description. Another way you could support me is by going to Y gift link in the description. And here, this where this says collect for me, it would say tip. You tip this and uh, you could give me some YUSD if you want. And uh, that would definitely help me out quite a bit. Um, another way you could support me is you could check out my Rarible store and purchase an NFT. Now the best kind of support is just you watching my videos and liking them and subscribing. So if you did that, thanks so much for doing that and uh, goodbye.